back on the record in Geraldo versus Gutierrez. Um, so you've rested then, Ms. Vasquez? You're yes, not calling just okay. reserving redirect for whatever. Yeah, bad okay. Basket. All right, so uh, Mr. Geraldo, do you want to call, um, and you want to call, and what's your first name, right? <laughs> it's Andrea. 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 Okay, I was about ready to call you by your middle name, but that doesn't make any sense. Okay, um, you ready to call her? Yeah. Okay, Andrea, you want to come on up and we'll um, swear you in? Yeah. Your Honor, may I also ask that Dad also be sworn in? Because mm -hmm. it's... Yep. He seems yes, to be sir. Mind. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. Let's now swear him in, too. Straight up. Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Face the clerk. You and each of you do solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give in the section shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so God. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. All right. So, Mr. Geraldo. So this is where it's that's a Lola, Lola, Andrea, Lola. Seven. Uh, attempts there. That's ten. Next page, two more. That's twelve. Page. Five more, seventeen attempts to call. Next page with the block. I'm we're having to dial star six seven because we were blocked. So if you on like I call private, you can get through. Um, there's three of those. To grandma, one without unblocking, that's 20, 21 attempts. Two, three, four, 25. And then with grandma, four times. Next page, three attempts, two attempts, one attempt, that's 31. And two more grandma and another unblock. Thirty-two attempts to reach you. You have three more on the next page. Another for grandma, Lola. So I mean close to forty times tried calling me. I was obviously blocked. Are you asking her a question, or, or has she... Well, yeah, because she stated that she wasn't allowed to talk to Alicia for two whole months. I remember. Yeah, listen, you, when I would call so back, you you never answer. And then you would call late at night, or have him call late at night, uh, and then and I was at work, because I actually worked. Like, what's the truth? Like, was I blocked? I mean, was there a we time where you could have answered the phone every time I and talked to Alicia? Yes or so no? are, there call, are there calls back from her on the phone bill? Um... I'm not in this, I don't know, on this one. I 
So, but you have the phone bill there, right? For that no, period. It's not entire. It's not entire. It's like the one of the temps that I. It's just screenshots. That let Alicia call her. Call his grandma Lola, call his grandma Andrea, and call his mom. Okay. And then, can you go to 16B? Oh, can I submit those? I'm going to go to call them. Trying to say I was going to been, talk to him for two months. Well, I don't think that I, I know the story though. I mean, so are you going? Are you going to object? You're standing up, so I, I am objecting because Dad just said that this isn't the entire record. So well, it doesn't have just, to be the entire record. It can be part of the record. Um, and, okay. But what it shows me, I mean, I'll allow it. That's fine. And to the authenticity to judge, I don't. Well, so nobody's objected the authenticity. Have you guys objected to the authenticity of his documents? You don't know. Just now seeing this for the first time. But what's the authentic? Why are you saying it's not authentic? Um, I mean, first off, he didn't say how he obtained these. I guess he screenshot So it's himself. a foundation argument? Well, he's trying to, so he's trying to move to admit mm -hmm. them, but he hasn't laid the foundation for them. Correct. But he'd have to lay the foundation for them himself because he, they're his he, documents. He, um, and, um, so here's the deal. You need to, she's objecting to foundation because basically nobody's described these documents and nobody's told us what they are. You've just asked her questions about looking, telling her to look at them. So you need to lay that foundation before they can come in. So I'll sustain that objection. So basically you can lay that out and then we can go from there. So you can tell me what they are. Okay, but um, you need to identify phone. specifically what are, what are those documents like? What company? What are they? How? What dates? Like, tell me what they are. These are call logs from Boost Mobile. They're screenshots of the call logs off the phone, and then they're printed out. Based. How are they created? Did you take the, the screenshots? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what that's what needs to be told. Okay. That's how you lay the foundation for it. So. Um, so tell me how you created those documents. I went back to the dates of when Alicia, when I picked up Alicia from the school, mm -hmm. and went through the call logs and screenshot it and printed out the attempts to let Alicia call his mom when he wanted to. Okay. And it goes from six fifteen, six seventeen. Is that all of them? Are those um, all the dates that you have there? They're here. Okay, yeah, all right. All of them have every, the date on every one. Was anything ever deleted? Any calls deleted? Um, I, I mean, if you want to look at it, some would go in. Some would this was submitted a long time ago, but I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to allow it. The weight I give it is really the issue. So I'll allow it to come in over objection by the defendant's counsel. Um, and then mom can testify about whatever she needs to to explain what's on there, if, she, if there's anything more. Um, anything else you want to tell me about that, Dad? So basically, you, you have highlighted dates that you've attempted to call, which you've testified about before. So I know that you testified. I tried to call. I tried to. At least I tried to call. It just never got through. Yeah, I just want to have like something to substantiate that. Yeah. yeah okay. Some, Fair enough. What I'm saying is true, and it's not hearsay. Okay. Um, and then 16B is a text message. To Andrea Jimenez, which is grandma over here, says, can you, can you read that, please? July 1st, 7.27 p.m. Who's the text message from? Me. From me to grandma. Okay. I mean, really, this should come in through you. I mean, are you going to ask her if she's ever seen that before? What are you trying to get in through her? 
I mean, well, because since we were blocked, and I mean, I was trying to communicate with other people to get. To okay, her. so re read it out loud then. Read it. Okay. Since your daughter blocked my wife and I, maybe you can relay the message to her. At least you'll see the gastroenterologist specialist and send them to get blood work done, check the chronically celiac disease because of what the hospital pediatrician said and the symptoms. Also, they are taking a sample of stool as well. He, he also had to get an x-ray of his abdomen. He's also on a specific diet and also referring him to a urologist. So you can inform her, inform her of what's going on since she does not know how to communicate and understand that something is wrong with Alicia and it needs to be addressed. And that is what I, that's what I am doing. And there's another message. It says, let's be clear, I'm not keeping Alicia away from the Mount Morris family. As a matter of fact, I actually took him to Lola's on three different occasions, and she refused to answer the door even after Alicia called and left around three to four voicemails saying that he was outside. He also tried numerous times to call his mom and let her know what's been going on, but she did not answer or call him back. Maybe that's because she blocked the number. She has to call Nicole's phone. Mine is not working, and she would have known that if she didn't block the number. Also, send numerous text messages, numerous pictures that he wants me to send her, and he gets no response. That's why I reached out to you to let you know what's going on with him. Do you think our doctors and specialists do not know what they're talking about? He may have Crohn's disease. That is what the specialist tested him for. He also has seen neurologists as well as daytime waiting because of breath and treatment. It can get worse. It has to be done on a specific diet. Court is in two and a half weeks. And we get to see everything that's presented. I'm shocked that you guys are still trying to sweep his health issues under the rug instead of trying to find out what's going on. I will see you guys or do some research on Crohn's disease. So you can better understand what he might be going through, and we'll find out when the rest of the guests come back. So this is just trying to um, you make them aware, like just because she wasn't responding, she wasn't nothing. So I just wanted to listen. So we're trying to trying to get them to be on the same page or whatever, and it just keep falling on. Well, here's the problem. He's going to end up testifying. We've dealt with this before. So yeah. part of what he does is, standing there is testify because he's trying to refute, like he's rebutting what he's hearing. But mm -hmm. instead of putting himself on the stand, I've just let him do this because otherwise it would be her testimony, then him testifying. And it just keeps it related to the topic at hand. So he tells me his thoughts on it, and then we... Go from there. I mean, so not that I want to, but then can I have the option of questioning things that he's saying? Mm -hmm. Like a, mm -hmm, of course, whatever you want to call it, redirect. Yeah, on what he's testifying to now. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. it would be a cross. You'd be crossing him again. Okay. Yeah, but I don't. So anything? Any other questions from her? Yeah. Because again, we've this is stuff we've talked about. I don't. I don't know that we need to keep going into a rehashing. Just the point of that was just to to have proof of it and not just hearsay because I'd like to go off of facts instead mm -hmm. of just I don't hearsay because I mean they've made it this far of just saying all kinds of stuff and her were really pretty dangerous. I haven't really seen, admitted a lot, a whole lot. Well, I mean, a lot of what you've I actually, quite frankly, from what I recall, a lot of you, you two don't really disagree on how things happened. Um, so, anyway, but go ahead. I'm not going to try and stop you, but I just don't want you to keep... I mean, I just started. We're not going to spend all day on new exhibits, because you, did you even produce those during the... 
Yeah, and you had the opportunity to present your case for a day and a half already. So. Yeah, so I don't understand why he keeps saying that we've said so much, but we haven't said anything. We had half of a day. Yeah. I mean, you've put on your case for a day and a half. It's been plenty of time. And, and I think we're just re rehashing yeah. the same facts over again. I mean, we can dissect them, but I don't think it's necessary. I, my job is to look at the however many factors, nine factors, I could be wrong. All right, well, then I'll just go to factors. the no contact order right now that I'm asking for with no hand. Okay. Uh, make your, well, you know what, why don't you just make that an argument for your, after, for your closing. So that's what we talked about with counsel is you'll each argue your motions at closing. Is there anything more you want to ask mom about in regards to additional information that's new that I don't know about already. In other words, you've heard testimony, you've heard Ms. Rosenblum. Now, is there something new that you need to bring out or point out that I haven't already heard? I'm sorry? Yeah, there is. That's new? Okay, so, all right, yeah. Um, at least it was a football game. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. When I say new, I mean related to the scope of the testimony that's already come in. So, in other words, there's you've told stories of the history of your family and how you two dealt with the kids over the past, and you've already got testimony in on direct and on cross from the f first day and a half of the trial. So now. Is there anything new related to that testimony? You have to keep it within the scope of the testimony that's already been. So if something new happened between then and now, unfortunately that's not a part of, of the case. I mean, you can talk to me about it in the um, motion part of this hearing. Um, I don't know, I keep hearing like rumblings of something happened at a football game, but I'm not going to consider, that's not part of the scope of this and hearing so at this point. Mr. Burton was asking her questions, right? I'm last sorry? Trial, last trial date, the questions that Mr. Burton was asking her and stuff? Yeah, 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 right, exactly. So we keep it within the scope of what Mr. Burton asked, what you'd already asked, and then if there's something that you need to add to that that I don't already know about all of those topics, then you can do that now if you need to rebut something or point out maybe some discrepancies or whatever, but otherwise, I already have sort of the the universe of the information that has come in or come in thus far, and so you have to keep it within that universe. Don't start bringing in new facts. I mean, this thing's ever changing. We could be here till next year taking testimony if we end on a trial day and then start another day down the road, and then what happened in between? I I can't keep hearing all that. So it's it's really not how it's supposed to work. So just keep it to that universe, okay? And so if there's anything new that you need to hear from out of her relating to the last trial dates, then you're welcome to ask her about it. Okay, so you stated that um, it, you were getting better with communicating with me last time you were on the stand. Has that gotten better at all? No. Did you say no? Thank, thank you for being honest. Mm -hmm. um, Can I ask why? Yes. Sorry, um, Dad. It's okay. Um, I was hoping that didn't so. Um, you know, he's just always attacking. Um, he's always, uh, you know, it's a paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. If it's not pertaining to like just one thing, and if I read it. Then I don't need to respond back. Like he he's writing back what he says, and I don't feel that it needs to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth every time. I just I don't feel like that. Okay, but simple questions like, are you gonna take? Can you bring his cleats and his right? Um, so here's the jersey. thing: you can be attacked by dad all day long and not like it, but you still need to communicate about your son. Right, but so, if it's something like pertaining like his health and stuff like that, but like. Things that were he's just you know gonna he's talking about the cleats I didn't I didn't read that message to be honest I read it like after the fact so I mean besides that if that's the one question that or one message that he's asking about so 
It's not that I don't read them. It's just I don't. I don't. Do Answer. You do not. We, 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 if you read them, you don't reply. And it's not all about attacking. It's about asking what's going on with the kids. And I just don't know what's going on. I just want to talk. Mm -hmm. So when you when you picked up Alicia when when actually Grandma Andrea picked up Alicia from school when what you had him for eleven days did you try and get his medication from in any way shape or form? What date is this following? Is this the new thing that just recently happened? Yeah, when you make when you had Alicia make up and he's being this. Uh, that's new, so she and doesn't know about it. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I can't hear. Hold on. Three people at once can't talk. What were you saying? This is out of the scope. This is new stuff, mm -hmm. Judge. Yeah. Yeah, you got to keep it within the scope of what was already, has already been conducted. So I think what this, the, I think what's going to ultimately happen is Dad's going to want to talk about new things based upon these motions, and so. If there's that, then we can just let her step down. I don't know if you have any other questions. And we can just get cut to the motions and yeah, start yeah, discussing yeah. the new issues that have come up. Um, do you have any other questions of Mom? Um, I just want to clarify that. The text messages that you let in, uh, you were saying that... I didn't let text message in. I let the... Um, he the, read the text message. The fifth, no, the 15B... The, the, um, no, sorry, the call log. The call log, yeah. yeah. Um, I just, does this call log reflect your phone calls that you return? Okay, thanks. That's no, right? No. No, yes. You have to say the words out loud. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I already, yeah, okay. I understand that. Um, so do you think you could have talked to Alicia if you really wanted to? Could you have picked up the phone and talked to her? I, I would call after, directly after you would call, but yet you wouldn't answer. Well, if he was calling you over 40 times, you can not And I the called phone back, and, and I was at work, and then it was like 11 p.m. at night. If you wanted to talk to him, why would you block the number? I didn't block it. It shows right there that my name's not blocked. Maybe one time on there so it showed that it was blocked. All right, that's it. And it was all from uh, T-Mobile, not a boost mobile. It says T-Mobile. And I had a couple of different ones, so. Okay. All right, a detail that's not that important. Okay, so um, we'll let Mom step down. So let's talk about the motions that are pending for today, which is okay. the um, the old motion, which I guess didn't get. Forwarded. The motion for order show cause, which didn't actually get set over, but I basically had that heard at the same time as the last evidentiary hearing. Then Dad's, I mean, Dad's motion for school, I think we dealt with. That was back on before. Um, and then now he has a motion for a no contact order um, regarding Mom's Friend, mom's girlfriend, so let's see, for Nohea and sole legal and physical custody of my children. Okay, and then mom has an opposition and counter motion for supervised visits, sole legal custody, and no contact order with stepmom. So let me hear from you first, dad, about your motion, and then I'll hear from mom on her counter motion, and then we'll go from there. Pardon me? Which one are you talking about? Well, the one, the, one? the most current one, which is, because I've dealt with your, the, the um, school issue, so that's done. So now it's a matter of the newest motions that were filed. They have an older motion that was filed that I haven't, I haven't addressed. We'll deal with that as well, but the one that you filed, which is for no contact for Nohea, sole legal and physical custody of the children. 
No, just stand there. It's a motion hearing. So you can stand there and argue your case. You're under oath, so you can tell me what your thoughts are under oath, and we'll go from there. I submitted one video of the first time we went to the apartment, and I have it in my pocket, but I don't, there's no TV or whatever here. So. What are you talking about? Um, a video of just how just aggressive how Mahe is. She was okay. slamming the door and saying, this is my residence, and we were just trying to see the kids if we found out where they lived or whatever. You're talking about from way back when? Yeah. yeah, and it okay. just it just shows like how much she's so hostile and aggressive. Um, she doesn't have no, he doesn't have respect for me as the kid's father. Um, it's it's pretty crazy to have to deal with two women. Um, I'd rather have just been one woman and a, and a guy, but two women and one who thinks she's a guy. It's it's really messed up position to be in. I don't know if you can kind of imagine what it's like. Um, um, so what, and then I want to so tell me why you think there should be a no contact order. Yeah, I mean, I'm I know. There. I'm there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then, uh, Facebook post. Um, need, she's just a uh, aggressive and hostile, disrespectful, she talks, she called me a faggot in front of my kids uh, and a drug addict. One time when I went to go give him his medicine, uh, when was he, this? Was outside, uh, he was outside skateboarding. When was this? This was, I can go see this. Recently or yeah, a long yeah, time this, ago? No, this is... This is recent. Okay. This is where I filed no contact order. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even following it. Filed that. I hadn't filed that before. Mm -hmm. I to and the way she treats my daughter. sure about that one. Um, but the phone that, uh, so I'm just kind of like, I'm just more concerned with the, the safety of everybody involved and the kids and everything, especially after we have a football game. So no, so tell me about that. Okay, so it's mom's week, they take them to the football game. Um, I had asked prior if mom would be able to go half one hundred twenty five dollar fee, and no. Okay, so I just paid it. So we can play. Um, grandma makes a post saying if dad pays, he can he can play football. Otherwise, they, they, they don't care. But um, so the game's over, whatever, and I'm gonna go give my son. I want to talk to him. Say. Good, you know, good game. Give him a hug. Give him a high five. Tell him I'll see him Monday. Tell him I love him. Whatever. You know what I mean? Just a brief, you know, say good game and all that. So as, as the game ends, Nohea goes to Alicia, puts her arm around him, and starts to walk him out towards the car. And so I'm calling him. I'm saying, Alicia, come here. And I'm not even close. I'm like, from here to wall where, where you're at and she's telling him like don't listen to him walk me to the car stay right here if not and she's holding on to him and mom's recording the whole thing um and then so like i so i just let him go you know and mom, they go by my mom and my mom just comes in and then puts her arm around alicia to give him a hug and Alicia goes to hug her back, my mother back, and she like elbows my mom to back up and pulls Alicia away and says, that's enough.
so that's how that's how it started. And then, so my wife comes over and says, "You don't push her. What's wrong with you?" She's an old lady, and then she starts um, pushing my wife and trying to swing. So and then I get I get behind her and I grab her and I lay her on the ground because she's start, already starting to push my mom and my wife. Yeah. So I go behind her and I lay her on the ground. It was the most gentlest thing. Like it wasn't at all to like hurt her or it wasn't like I threw her on the ground. I just wanted like you know what I mean, trying to get the situation to stop because it's starting to escalate. You know what I mean. And then um, so. This one over here is like, go ahead, go ahead, I'm recording, like, trying to instigate, or trying to, like, um, encourage, like, the fighting behavior or something, and, um, that way she can capture it on the phone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, my mom, I guess, she turned around and snatched the phone out of her hand, then she goes and, um, punches her in the arm and pushes her on the ground, uh, and then... Who's she? My mother. She pushes her onto the ground. She pushes your mother yeah, onto the ground? Yeah, pushes okay. her on the ground. And then by that time, no, head's already back up on her feet. And she, and then I just see her, you know, I'm not even close, but I see her, she goes and I try to kick my mom in the face as she's getting up off the ground. She's 60 years old. Man. So she goes to kick her in the face as she's getting up off the ground. And then I didn't even, like, think. I just reacted, there was, I, so I just came over and I hit her. I hit her in, in the head right here, whatever. And it was just like uh, in total defense mode, you know what I mean? I see my mom being attacked, um, and I didn't even think, like I just reacted. And after that, she still um, goes up to my mom and pulls her shirt down and exposes her breast. And, and it's young to, um, my wife hit me, hit me, and that was that. And that's why I got um, banned from the football game. But she took a video of it, and I don't know why she didn't submit it or anything. Because we could have all seen what happened, but. Okay. So, yeah, I don't. Yeah, with that too, that was the main like the thing that kind of like was like, alright, well, then I think we should not have contact, you know what I mean, with being around my kids or anything, because that's the way you can act, and that's not the first time she's been like, aggressive. That's just the first time something that actually happened. Why did they, who banned you? The football league. So the football league banned you because what do they think happened? Just because they saw me hitting my hand. Oh, because I hit my hand. I mean, they seen the whole thing and they know why. Oh yeah, and then at the end, also, um, I was just like, you, it's been 11, uh, 11 days and you haven't got Alicia's medication. And then she, both of her and her partner yelled out, they, he doesn't need any uh, medication, you effing idiot. In front of everybody, and then other people were like, we'll call CPS if she's not going to do what she's supposed to. And then I'm like, we have, we've been going through court and all that stuff. So. Which medication I mean, there's a lot of witnesses. Which medication had he not had? Any, any of them. The ones that he's supposed to be taking. For the Miralax. Like, the Miralax you can get over the counter or whatever. Right, but Miralax the you get over the counter. The is like the one that's for, um, for his bladder? For the bowel. Yeah, for the bowel. And that, so that he can... Not, not be getting plugged up and poop and stuff. Mm -hmm. and keep his rectal wall empty. And what about the one for his? It's his bladder, right? Oxybutynin and yeah. demo demo demoxy demoxy something. Okay. It's in the, in the, the urologist demon. Did he have those meds? Um, I had them, and she, I sent her messages trying to get her to, you know, where are we going to meet, where are we going to get them, and then every time I'm doing that, it's like, oh, stop harassing us, and, this, this, and, that. and they think, really think that I would want something to do with them if I didn't have to talk to them when it came, you know, other than the kids, you know right. what I mean? Do you have the video, Mom? 
I can't hear you. I showed it to the police officers who took the report for the missing one point. Do you have it here? Here on your phone. Uh, yes, but it's not what he's mm -hmm. saying. So well, that's why I'm asking. Right, and I was wondering if I can tell my side. Well, of course you can, but uh, the video will tell everything, won't it? Well, it's not of the whole thing like he's saying. It's just the initial beginning of what happened and what he's supposed to say. So which part? Okay, so are you finished telling your part of the story? Because I want to hear what she has to say about what happened, because I have some questions to ask, okay? I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. So tell me then, how did it, in your opinion, how did it start? Oh. Um, so it started by, like he was saying, he was walking far behind, so he had no knowledge of what Nohea was telling my son, if she was even saying anything like that to him. Um, we were walking to the car. Nohea had all of our chairs and our backpacks on her, um, you know, not thinking anything was going to happen. So, like Ryan said, the mom came and kind of just pushed through to hug Alicia. Um, from there, like I said, she didn't push back. All she had was a chair, so she just kind of was like, whoa, what the heck, get off of me, you know, kind of thing. Um, I do have video of that, and I did say that. I said, I have video of exactly what happened, and then that's when this one, the wife over here, um, started, in, uh, you know, chasing after Nohe and saying, don't you push my mother-in-law, and calling Ryan over, she just pushed your mom, blah, blah, blah. And that's when I said, that's not what happened. I have it on video, because I was filming that, you know, my son was done with the game, whatever, I wasn't filming for them um and that's when the mom pulled the phone out of my hand so right after i said that you know and and nicole was chasing after nohea putting her hand in her face like this because you can clearly see it in the video nohea brushed her hand away and then that's when the mom took the phone out of my hands that's when everything happened i never touched his mother not one time i did touch her everything that he is saying happened happened but not the way that he's saying it so when she grabbed the phone out of my hand, that's when Nohea thought she hit me and she went to go grab it back out of her hands and my phone fell to the floor. So they attack Nohea because like I said, she's carrying all of our stuff, our chairs, our backpacks, everything like that. He didn't softly put her to the ground. Everybody's seen what happened. Yes, there is witness reports, you know, and principals writing in, um, and as, as uh, the director for all of the you know outside games is the one who banned him from the field. So after he pushed her to the ground, she kept getting to the ground because she was getting pushed by Ryan and the wife trying to keep her down. So when she finally got up, or she was trying to get up, and yes, she was kicking, I don't know what she was kicking because in the midst, I was trying to get him away from Nohea, making sure that they didn't fight because I knew that's what he, his intentions were. Um, at that time, I just kept trying to get him away, so I was actually pushing him away from her. And, you know, I, I did report this to the officer. I reported everything that actually happened. So the principal seen everything. Um, you know, the, the actual director of the field game saw everything as well. We do have a letter stating, an email stating from both of them that, yes, Mr. Geraldo is banned from all field activities that they throw um, due to him punching another female, which was my partner. So. Um, when they were yelling about the medicines, she was... the. How did wife, you, but what about his mom being on the ground and no hands? I didn't kicking? see that. Like I said, I was trying to get him away because I knew his intentions were to to hurt her, pretty much. Um, when Nicole came running after saying that Molly said that Alicia was going to die if he doesn't have his medications, that's when I yelled. That's not what Molly said. I didn't yell. You know, I'm not giving him his medicine or whatever he said. That I said I'm not giving him his medicine. So CPS people were going to call on me. That is not what I said. So we were trying to get the medicines. I have my daughter's message because I had my daughter just say to Nicole nicely, can you have them drop it off at the school? 
But then, you know, Nicole came back saying, talking parent, which is fine, so then I did. But we still never got it. She, they just kept on going to the schools and giving Alicio his medicines on the knee. If I may add, Judge, um, we also believe that Dad's and stepmom's behavior and that his motion for no contact with Nohea was retaliatory because on September 19th, we did a counter motion for no contact order with stepmom, and then a week later, this happens. Well, that's where I got the idea. I mean, you know, it's, well, yeah, okay, well, yeah, well, she's is the one who should really have no contact if you want, if, you know what I mean? Well, she I think this all plays that. into what Molly's talking about, where too many people are involved in the situation mm. that, that causes, um, that's, that are inciting um, everybody's emotions, so. Right, my partner had to go to the hospital. We did the police report. We called the police there. We stayed while they left. You know, I gave the policeman the phone number and he was talking to him on his cell phone, on speaker, in front of me, him and his wife, or, and his, his mom, on speaker, because I gave that number to them, because we stayed there to fill out the report, because it's exactly what happened. They attacked us. Well, her, not me. So what portion of the, then you do have the, um, the beginning of it then on your phone? Yes, sir. Where, you, where Nohe is walking away with? My son. With mm -hmm. Alicio and dad's yeah. following. Well, no, I don't even have dad, because like I said, he was so far, so that's why when he said that he heard whatever Nohea was saying to him, he was way too far to hear what supposedly Nohea was telling my son, mm -hmm. which was, don't listen. Quite so, obvious. It was not. Yeah, she was, <laughs> and it just ties into them trying to alienate me from my kids, and that's all it is, you know, I mean, there's no, there's no Well, here's the thing. Need. One of the things that needs to occur is, I mean, I hear you. Um... It's unfortunate, but what I'm hearing is not uncommon. Um, I mean, every week you hear about people at activities trying to keep the kids from, you know, with that one side versus the other, and when one side comes over, then there's, you know, and visits the child, it's a battle, and everybody's posturing and trying to hold the kids back from seeing the other parent. It's, it's nuts, honestly. It needs to stop. I, I um, do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, it happens. It happens. That was common, and yeah, it needs to stop. We just leave him on his own, on his needs. You know, we don't. We well, don't he doesn't. But it's not. It's not about him or you. It's about Alicio. Right. So, so, so he should be able to see either parent at the. But he should be able to see either parent at those events. Now there's a ban, but when those events occur, it's not about oh come with me. It's our time. Wrong, 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 wrong. It should be the opposite. Go say hi to your dad. Exactly. I'm his father 365 days out Correct. of the year. Correct. So, Dad, I, I got week. it. I got it. I, and I agree with you. So, but it, what, what the behavior that I'm hearing about is not uncommon. So, everybody needs to put aside their own personal opinions and start thinking about what's right for Alicio as opposed to, oh, I'm, you know, it's my time and he's interfering. We don't bother him on his time. You don't have to. But if Dad decides to come and watch Alicio during your time, then the goal isn't to hoard him and keep him away from the other parent, the, I, the deal is let him see that he has two supportive parents, or four supportive parents, instead of, you know, one at a time. I mean, that just, that doesn't make any sense. The um, unfortunate part is nobody gets along in this case. So, all right, so, you, Dad, then, you, so your request then is to keep Nohea away, which means, basically, Nohea lives with Mom, then Mom doesn't have any contact. Is that what your request is? After, uh, yeah, pretty much all the things that have been going on with her, mm -hmm. um, and there's, there's more. There's not. That's not the only thing. It okay. Is. And you know, go ahead. I've never wanted to do this from the beginning. I want everybody to be on the same page and get along. But it's well, just you're not, not going to be on the same page. You're never going to be on the same page. Well, I mean, just co-parent for the kids. I mean, you don't have to like each other, but you do have to co-parent, right? Mm -hmm. and, and Agreed. It's not happening. It's not going to happen with us. Okay. So, um, and then... So what else? So, I don't know, she, you know she, What's you that? Know, refer to her mom's legs and stuff, how she kicked her. You know, that's legs. your mom's? Okay, yeah. so that's between your mom and Nohea. No, I'm just saying, you But I'm just, just so telling you, you, I mean, I see it, I see a okay. huge bruise.
but that's between your mom and Nohea. Um, and I don't know how that occurred, but I don't have jurisdiction over your mom or, okay. or Nohea. So, I mean, I would have never touched her had I not seen her go to pump my mom's face like a football. You know what I mean? I was defending my mom. That's it. One way period. And none of this is on video? Okay. And I've never been violent or aggressive towards her ever. I was simply defending my mother. And when I seen that, it, it just kind of snapped, and I didn't have time to think. I just reacted, and that's what happened. I have a video. Wait, Wait Okay, you can't talk. All right, so anything? Else, what else? Yeah, um, same, same thing. The messages. My daughter. Um, their relationship is pretty bad. Between yeah. your daughter and Nohea, is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only reason it's kind of okay right now is because they live with Grandma. And then Kimba, he's, he's kind of a respectful guy. Like, so I don't think he really let that wait. Like, she, he wouldn't let her really treat her like my daughter, like, let no hair treat my daughter in front of him, at least. Like, the way she would do, the way it's going to go back to when they get their own place again. Which is what? You need to tell me what that is. Okay, um, well... To the eight. Just tell me. It's um, a snap, uh, snapshot of Aliana's Instagram. And this exhibit what? Eight. Eight. Okay. So this is a motion hearing, so I guess I can look at that as an offer of proof. Eight. Is it an order? Well, I guess it is. Okay. I said, I hate my mom's stupid ass girlfriend coming in and thinking like she owns my family, bossing people around, treating my family like shit. My mom deserves someone so much better, not this to be off the street. Um, that basically goes back to when she moved her in because they needed, because she had to move her in. Um, it's not a long time. Then she came, the next page is, then she came into my room when I was at my dad's and destroyed my whole wall of art. Who the F does that? All the things except the small stuff got ruined. Then they want to be upset with me because I was screaming at my mom. And, and the next page is unnecessary. They said this was for discipline. Like one week she takes down my fair lights, now she destroys my wall of art. It's one thing to take it down, but this is another, and the next page is hate her stupid ass, because she crumbled up the Jester Bennington uh, signed poster. And then the next page is uh, she wants me to get out of her house. I don't think so. Um, there's been at least three times that I know of that Nohe has put uh, Andrea and my kids out. Three times that I know. And I don't know how many more than that. But I know for sure that they've been put out on the street three times. When they've gotten to fights or whatever. And then there's uh, there's more um, about how my daughter's trying to, has tried to talk to her mom about it. And she gets blamed for it, basically. So that's um, number nine. That's complete crap. I I agree with you, best friend. I'm so effing pissed. Like that was so unneeded, unnecessary crap she pulled. Exactly, and they want me to be mad. I wish someone would put her in her place. Oh, what the hell? Um, that's total bull. It's like I said, someone needs to kick her ass or something. Cause I'm done with this. I hate. I effing hate it. Says, um, her friend Nick, which is the one that um, Nohea made her stop being friends with after eight years. She lost her best friend after eight years because of Nohea. 
Um, this is my daughter and Nick talking to each other. And she, Nick says to my daughter, I miss you guys too. I haven't spoke to Alessa. When she went back to Nohea, she made sure Alessa wasn't going to talk to me again. So I haven't heard from her at all. And my daughter said, yeah, it kind of sucks. And now that we live closer, it really sucks. Mom misses you guys too. But, you know, Nohea, it was her choice. And this is what she chose. And Nick said, I know it hurts a lot. My daughter said, same here. But I have to live with them. And Nick said, they live with you. Um, and my daughter said, yeah, Mom and Alicia are, and I are living in Nohea's apartment. And Nick asked, why, if you don't mind me asking? And then my aunt said, because they're engaged. And then Nick asked, if this, uh, say, is this Anna? And she's like, yeah, who do you think it was? Because her, she has access to all her social media. So she didn't know if she was talking to my daughter or not. And then, so Nick says, I know I hear you. And my daughter said, do you know what Nohe almost ripped my post of that song by Tristan Benson? She said, no, but I believe it. <coughs> Scratch my head. All young replied, yeah, it was like living hell in the apartment because I was hysterical. It's not like I can replace that type of thing, you know. I do know where you're living now. And then I'm going to say, I'm week on, week off with mom and dad, but every week with mom is spent with grandma and Drea. And Nick says, Grandma, I don't know if you noticed me. And Nick says, Well, hi, whose phone is this? How are you and your brother? I hope you're all okay. Wish your mom was in a different place. Is no hate treating you okay? And Aliana says, hi, it's mine, and like I said, I'm fine, and my brother is too, and Nohea hates me, but loves Alicia. And Nick says, well, it's okay, I love you. Aliana says, I guess, I love you too. And Nick says, what do you mean like this? It's not, it's not going, and then Aliana says, it's not going so good right now. And Nick asks her why, does your, your mom love you? Aliana says, it's Nohea 99% of the time, like I said, she hates me. Why do you say that? Because she definitely treats me like she hates me. And Nick says, well, tell her that you want her to speak up and defend you. Open up, baby, and let your feelings be known. Don't stay feeling the way you do and feel alone. There is no need for that. And Aliana is like, well, when Nohea is not around, I try and talk to her and say I don't like her, and I actually haven't from the start. And Mom says it's my fault she didn't like me. But it was Nohea who started the disrespect first, so I don't know how I am in the wrong. And Nick tells her, you're not in the wrong, I understand, maybe you can sit down with Mom and talk to her. And then Aliana says, um, um, she definitely treats me like she hates me. And Nick says, well maybe she just isn't aware that you feel that way, maybe you should tell your mom. And Aliana says, no, she is the, is, no, she is because she purposely tries to annoy me and make me feel bad all the time, even mom agrees. And Nick says, why haven't you told mom to do something? And Aliana says, she sees all of it, she will only say stuff like, that's enough, or calm down in a really soft voice or something. And then Nick says, well, tell her that you want her to speak up and defend you. You're not wrong, I understand. And then Aliana says, I've tried countless times, but she obviously chose Nahea over me because they're engaged now. And then Nick says, well, maybe you should tell her how much you don't like her, how you feel she's choosing her over you. And Aliana said, I've tried that already, and there's just been so much fighting and arguing between me and Mom. It's just gotten to a point where I don't know anymore. She says, I know... She still loves me, but she's letting Nohea get between us. And Nick says, yeah, well, we'll have you told her that right there. And she said, and Nick said, uh, have you asked her to go to your grandma's or even with Kimba? I know they miss you guys a bunch. And Anna says, yes, I see them every other week or something like that. And yes, I tell her that it was her, her who started it because I don't like the way she was treated or my family. Uh,
I, yeah, maybe you should tell her you're going to leave or something. And I don't know what she knows I don't want to live there because I was like living hell for when we moved back there. So it was after one of the times they got kicked out and they moved back. I said, I when can't. they get kicked out, do they go to grandma's? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then she knows I don't want to live there because like living hell for when we moved back there. And I can't leave because my school is too far and the court thing that my dad is still going on. She threatens me and says that she's going to take, make me live with dad. And he said, if you can live with us, I'll take you. And all he ever said is, are you serious? Why are you so nice to me? I love you only if I could. Maybe in the future if things get better. And he said, yeah, you're always here. I used to be there for your mom too, but she chose what she chose. She was welcome to come here and know this. And I said, yeah, I do know that. I just never thought of it till now, I guess. And he said, yeah, we're always here. I used to be there for your mom. And I really enjoyed that. Okay. That's the gist of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then, um, yeah. Oh, I got another post of, um, yeah. I need to go do something before bad things happen. She was slamming the door and saying, oh, this is my residence. Uh, later she posted this, need to go do something before I lose it and bad things happen. At the bottom, he wanted to smoke for a bike over there. So you can kind of just get an idea of the way she is. She's very controlling, very jealous type person. She controls every move. Said she's not allowed to talk to me. At one point, she thought that um, NJ and my wife were. I don't know what she thought, but she mentioned that um, she, she got jealous over them talking because it was when Aliana got um, had an incident at the school. And they were talking or whatever, and uh, he got really mad about it. And I don't know what she thought, but. Super jealous person. Yeah. Okay, so let me hear from mom about this. From me or mom? Well, whoever, whoever well, on your side. Well, this is the first time that I've seen these exhibits, Your Honor. They weren't attached to his motion. Um, Pardon? I can't hear you. These, I'm just seeing these for the first time. I don't think these were attached to his motion. Exhibits? They were they're part yeah. of the exhibit list, I believe. Oh, I see yeah, saying. he's got a whole exhibit list. Um, but f I mean, it, for me, it's clear that Dad has gone fishing in order for this expedition for a no contact order. He went through for social media, obviously logged in and took screenshots of it. Um, but I'm not really. Sh I mean, it sounds like a teenage girl expressing that she's upset that Mom's partner did something, discipline and stuff like that. It's not a basis for no contact order. Um, she's not abusive to the children. Uh, according to mom, their relationship was not good at the beginning. And that's what these messages are, but they're, they're older. These ones, um, some of them that he's produced anyways. Um, and that the relationship has gotten better. I don't know if you need specifics from mom. It's just going to be, he said, she said, going back and forth. And the real person that could vouch for this is Eliana, and she's not here. Um, there's no reason for her to have a no contact order, like you said, that they live together. Um, and yeah, she's a teenage girl. She's not happy about discipline. She's not happy about things that are happening between mom and partner, but it's not a basis for a no contact order. And as I said, I think this is really a re 
retaliatory. Like he said, I just found out that I'm able to request this kind of thing and then went into her social media and took put private messages with people. She has not expressed this to mom or dad, so I know she wants the court to know this. Well, how do you know Anybody she hasn't expressed it to dad? Because he had to go for it. That's how we got yeah, I think to go into her social media. And I think they, both parents should be entitled to get into her social media because she's know. a minor. But she has all her social media passwords and everything. We don't. Right. I don't have a problem with either one of them well, having access. And but how did you find out about these messages between her and Nick? Well, if I tell you that she showed them to us or told them, so she's going to get in trouble. She's going to have. There's going to be repercussions. So, I, mean, I, I find this concerning seeing that well, it's happened. Aliana is it's happened. running away from dad's home, so I don't know why she's confiding well, in him. Well, look, that. it's gone both directions. Yeah. And so, anyway, all right. I just, let me hear from mom on the, so she, mom's now saying that the relationship has gotten better? With Nohea, yes. Okay. All right, so you have a, a different motion pending. Yeah, we, we did a... Before his, we did a counter motion. Um, I for what doing with that one. How much more do you need to tell? I mean, I know what your request is. So She's what else do you need? Unstable. Uh huh. Okay. And there's an, there's the phone that I took that was hers. That I'm gonna get back. Um, and Mr. Bird said I didn't supply any of the messages. Well, he said before. There's no head asking my daughter saying I need my manager. So when she doesn't get her medicine, she gets in really bad news and stuff. You're talking about Nohea? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's mentally unstable and unfit to be around my kids. The way she talks in front of my kids, the way she disrespects me, the way she treats my daughter. Um, she has, she made them wait outside and got mad at them when they wanted, in the summertime when they wanted to come inside and have a drink of water. Like she, she'll discipline her if there's like one dish left in the sink. Like she has to be Cinderella for no hair, and they have their own place or whatever. And then there's no reason why my daughter should be treated like that. Um, and then just for her to do the thing that she does, like go put her arm around Lisa and try to walk him out so that I can talk to him. That's just. I don't understand where she gets off things. She should be like should do that. Like my wife would never do that to Andrea. I mean, like they can't let go of things they can't control. You know what I mean, you have a kid with somebody, and you can't change it. So you need to respect that person whether you like them or not, and just everything will go a lot smoother if you just co-parent the best of your ability. Okay, and I'll review your motion um, exhibits as well before I make a decision. So, um, I, I just wanted to address Dad's allegation of you know, his instability because our motion, our counter motion for no contact with stepmom, had a lot to do with mom texting Aliana how Dad was unstable and trying to kill himself and inappropriate things that should be not told to a child whether Dad's trying to kill himself or how. Detailed stepmom says, I found dad in, a gar in the garage, um, stuff like that. And so that's where our counter motion came from is the, the social media posts, obviously, we've talked about that. And then the, the text messages that stepmom, the grotesque text messages that mom is telling Aliana about. You mean dad's, stepmom? Stepmom. Mm -hmm. Telling Aliana about dad's emotional instability and wanting to kill himself. I don't think and they realize what it's like to have your kids, you know. Hold on, Dad. Hold on. I'll let you respond. Just let her finish. And then yeah, I'll... so I just, I mean, if, if Dad thinks that, you know, hey, I should have no contact with her because she, if she has medical conditions that she's taking medication for, uh, that's concerning because Dad also has unst an unstable mental condition, maybe. No, a mental condition. So depression or whatever. There's a bunch of things Dad, that people go through Pardon? litigation. It's it's all contested and you see that and I'm hoping that after this is done things are gonna get better. Um, the no contact order for stepmom was 
just to stop talking to the kids about this stuff. It's highly inappropriate. Um, and I, there's social media where Aliana is asking stepmom to please take this stuff down about my brother. And she, stepmom responds, no, I don't have to. Um, they see what's going on. Um, so if their social media friends or they have a messaging app that they're messaging each other, we're asking for that contact to stop. It's not productive for the relationship, for the case, for the parents and their relationship. Um, as as far, my, uh, as far as I'm concerned, Ohio doesn't insert herself in this litigation, um, but maybe there are some house dynamics of discipline or whatever that they need to address, but I don't think that's for your honor today. Well, I can establish some parameters. I mean, I'll, I'll address all of it. Um, do you have any other uh, supporting anything you just said? Yeah, any, it's attached any? to our final motion. The text messages between stepmom and Aliana. It's not evidence, it's on our motion. Right, they're offers of proof at this point. All right, so, Dad, do you have any response to that? She, you were trying to talk while she was talking, and you were saying. Um, well, that's why I said because I. Forget. Oh, you said you have any idea how what it feels like. Oh. So I mean, you. She was saying you were unstable, and you were saying, do you have any idea what it feels like? I mean, obviously you're upset, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I like if I ever express having thoughts of trying to do something like that, because, um, you know, not being able to see your children when they're still alive. Pretty much, I mean, if you don't have kids and you don't go through, you don't know what it's like. So it's kind of hard to explain. Like you're pretty much grieving the loss of kids that are still alive. Like you, you know they're there, but you can't see them. You're not to this day. I'm not allowed to talk to my kid. I cannot call them any day of the week unless it's my own uh, timeshare. Um, and this and this goes through like. All this goes from grandma, mom, partner, and great grandma. They're all against me. Like I'm not allowed to talk to my kids period. And that takes a toll on someone. So if you know if my daughter and my wife were talking about it, um we may have been talking about it. I don't know, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was of a negative way. Um Okay. Okay, so now you have the other motion that was um, pending. You said there were, but regarding the order show cause, you wanted to argue as well. Yeah. Um, looks like we filed the motion to order show cause July 2017. Mm -hmm. um, and so in that motion, we detailed that three days after the April 12th, 2017 hearing, um, uh, it was ordered that the parties were to attend appointments together, and Andrea was to schedule the appointments, but three days after that hearing, Ryan took Alicia to the doctor without notifying Andrea. So that was the first order that we are asking for and being contempt for. Um, the second one was uh, on July 13, 2017. Ryan took Alicia to the ER and notified Andrea after the fact on talking parents, not not on the way, not while waiting in the ER, but after the whole situation happened. And then um, four days later, on July 17, 2017, uh, Ryan withheld the children from Andrea during her court order tantrum. Of course, a lot of things have happened since then, but that's where the specifics in that motion. Okay. I'm pretty and sure so of her testimony about all of this. Huh? I said I'm pretty sure of her testimony Probably. about all this. I want to make sure that I have her before I, oh, you know, make a decision one way or the other. But I know that we've talked about this uh, in the yeah. many hearings that we've had. Um, We're just asking for in. Uh, for a finding of contempt on these issues, Your Honor, uh, I mean, you, you can either issue a sanction uh, or jail time on if you find the contempt on those. Uh, I don't know specifically.
specifics of what were addressed and what days they were addressed on that. So I don't know. I can't, I can't hear you. You're going to have to speak up. I don't know if you, you guys already talked about those incidents during trial or if Mr. Geraldo wants to. Um, we did talk about, for sure, the um, ER appointments visit. for the, and going to the ER. What's that? It was an ER visit, not a doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. I remember we're talking about that yeah. um, during during the trial. Um, I'm, I'm not recalling the four days later that he withheld the children or the child on her court or timeshare. Remind me of that, that one. So we that may have talked about that too. Pardon? So that was after the ER visit, four days after the ER visit. So do you want to just quickly elaborate on that? Okay. And how many days were withheld? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm not sure if I remember, but I went there to pick up, and I've had to call the, the cops multiple times over when he was living at his grandmother's house to pick up, but they would never answer the door. Finally, they would answer the door to the police and just deny me picking them up. That's, but the, the particular time in, listed in the motion is shortly after the ER visit. Correct. So, how so long was that week? Uh -huh. that was week so that particular week, week that was your time? Yes. Okay. And so how many days did you miss? The whole week? The whole weekend. Yeah. The whole week? Yeah, the whole, like, week on, week off. So the yeah. whole week and the weekend. Okay, so the whole week. Okay. All right. Uh, Ryan, do you have any response to any of that? I know, I remember, yeah, I, I we talked just, about this I, already. I have, do you, have you submitted any um, police contact cards, any, anything proving that I was held to get on that specific date that you're talking about? Are you denying that you did? Um, I have withheld them before, but I'm okay. just saying if, if it was that day or not, I'm just going to exaggerate and say it was a lot more times than it really was. So but do you recall that particular saying. week, by chance, after you went to the ER visit, if you kept Eliseo that to time? To be honest, I don't know the dates very well. Okay. So I know, I know. Okay. The only times I ever would have Eliseo was probably because I was trying to get him um, to see what was going on with him. He was, like, impacted. Um... Yeah, but what do you, yeah, we can, but are you, we're almost finished, so what were you going to, what were you, like you just kind of dropped everything and said, oh, we take a break, do you need to address this again, or? Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah, need, I, I'm pretty sure I can. But I know we've t we've talked. I know that I already have testimony about it. That's why I'm asking your question. I just couldn't remember what was the purpose behind withholding right after the ER visit, even though there was a week on week off order. So I, I can't even be positive if it happened at that time. I just want to. Like, take well, you can't be. Po if you can't be positive, take you can't a break be positive. To just gather myself I can be a little bit more helpful. Okay. All right. We'll take five minutes. And then we're going to finish. Look, within th by three fifteen, we're we're done. Um, we're gonna. Everybody's gonna do their closing, summarize, and let's hopefully by maybe three thirty, we're out of here, so that I can start looking at all the evidence and putting out a decision, so that I can close out this case and everybody can move on with their lives and hopefully, hopefully, um, things will settle down. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go off the record and give Ryan five minutes and we'll come back and go back on the record.